everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Vanessa if you have never been here before and this is my channel where I talk about bits and bobs to do with plants and stuff like that so let's get into today's video so today's video is going to be my May favorites even though it is nearly the end of June I thought I would get this video out because there are a few favorites that I have from last month that have really been standing out and even though here in Australia it's been getting a bit colder, all my plants have still been doing really well. So something I'm really excited about and these are the ones that I'm extra excited about, I guess. First off the bat is my Hoya Wabergie. So I think that this one has been renamed as Hoya Verticillata, but this one is still one of my favourites ever since I unboxed it in one of my Hoya unboxings, which I'll link in the cards above. But I am obsessed with its cute little leaves. It only has two leaves, but as soon as it came out, I thought, wow, that's heaps cool. And it's got a new little growth spike there. And the speckling gets a sun stressed pink color, which is gorgeous. I did have it sitting under one of my grow lights really close to get the sun stress looked, but it is starting to fade away as I moved it away from that spot now. But uh, it's still slightly tinged pink, so that's really exciting. And I just love this one. I'm obsessed. I think it's so cute. Next one is my Ludicia Discolor. So this one I actually bought online for such an amazing price. I think the, the store that I got it from, I'm not sure why it was so cheap. And now they have them for like double the price, which is crazy. And I didn't even buy it that long ago. But I just love the leaves of this one. It's just a bit like metallic and the detailing is gorgeous. So this is my first jewel orchid. And this one is found naturally or in the wild in places like China, Myanmar, Sumatra, Laos. I think it would be so cool to see these in the wild. Like imagine stumbling across this in the rainforest. They're just so gorgeous. Um, and my one currently is pushing out a little baby. And ever since I got it, I did get it in already the cooler months so maybe two three or two months ago maybe it was starting to get cooler and it's still pushing out growth like crazy so i'm just so impressed and i love this one it sits next to me at my desk and i love looking at it whenever i feel stressed out i love it so much and last but most certainly not least is my philodendron Mame Silver Cloud. So Silver Cloud is a one of the variations of the Mame. I know that there's ones that are different. This one, um, this has got a crazy leaf. <laughs> it's pointing upwards for some weird reason. But it um, is just really nice and big and pillowy. This one I received in the mail and to be honest, it was not in great shape. It was infested with spider mats. I didn't notice until I got it out of the box and then I had it sitting in the pot and I came back from work and it was covered and I was very shocked because I had never seen spider mites in my life before. So I managed to rehab this one. I think this leaf was a spike when I got it. So all the leaves that it came with, I cut them off and got rid of them this one grew out and now it has another leaf on the way which is extremely exciting and that is beautiful i love the lobes how they are touching at the moment and absolutely gorgeous and the ruffling on the petioles is that what they're called petioles i think so but yes this is the last of my may favorites which is doing super well in winter Alrighty guys, so that is it for today's video. Just a nice little quick one showing you some of my favourites as it goes into the cooler months and some that are still doing really well and that I am obsessed with at the minute. Um, if you would like to share your favourite plants down below, I would really love that. And that is it for today's video. Also, if you had any suggestions for future videos, I would love to hear those as well. And that is it for today's video. Bye!